Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today we're going to look at the Dissolve tool in QGIS and a couple different ways to use the tool. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So the data I'm going to use for the Dissolve tool is coming from ArcGIS Online Data Hub. So it's hub.arcgis.com. And I'm just going to search for the counties in the North America. So I'm just going to type in USA counties. And I will select this one right here, USA uh, census counties. And I will go ahead and download right here. And this will just take a few minutes. I'm going to select shape file. Okay, so that process is done, and I went ahead and unzipped the file. And now I'm at my QGIS project. So I'm going to navigate up here to Layer, Add Layer, Add Vector Layer. And I'm going to go ahead and direct to my project folder. It's right here. I'm going to select my shape file and click Open, Add and then I'll close out of this window. So here we have all the counties in the United States. So the two ways I want to show you the dissolve tool is we could dissolve all the counties into each unique state. Or the other way is to select the counties in one state and just dissolve those. So let's go ahead and get started with that. If your processing toolbox isn't visible like mine is, it's visible right now, but if it wasn't, you just simply navigate up here to processing and click on toolbox. So in the search box, go ahead and type dissolve. And it's just this dissolve tool right here under vector geometry. So I'll double click that. And already the input layers are already selected because that's my only layer. If not, of course, you would select the layer that you're wanting to use. And the dissolve field. So actually, let me just go back and show you the attribute table here. So I right clicked, got to select open attribute table. As you can see, I have the county name, state name, state abbreviation, and then the codes. So I'll most likely just be using these two right here, name and state name. Okay, so let's do that again. Double click on dissolve. I have my layer input layer selected. Dissolve field. Now this is optional, but I know it looks like it's not activated, but what you need to do is click onto this, these little three dots here, and that'll open up the fields that you can select from. So in this case, I want to dissolve all the county boundaries for each state. So I will go ahead and click state name. I could always click run from here or I could always go back if there was other options to um, to to use. I could my output could either be a temporary file, which is fine. And just know that if you're closing out of the project, it won't save. But if you wanted to save it out into your project folder, you can certainly do so. And let's go ahead and do that. I'll say dissolved counties US. Click save and run. Okay, so it's running now. And of course, the processing time is going to vary um, from data set to data set and what you're selecting what's being dissolved. So definitely a good idea just to be patient during this time. Definitely step away, get a cup of coffee or whatever you want to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks like this is almost done for me. So let's give it just another minute here. And we're almost done. Okay, very good. Okay, so the process has completed. I could close out of this window. And as you can see here, it created a new file on top. So these are all 
the state boundaries now. All the counties have been dissolved. Okay, let's go back to our original data set. The second way I want to show you guys is if you select certain polygons or features that you want to dissolve and, and nothing else, we could do that. So you could either select manually, like say like I want all the counties in say Colorado, it's roughly these here, there should be about 64. Yeah, 64 features. But if you're not sure, you're not really familiar familiar with the data set, um, I'm going to deselect here. We can always select by attributes. So to do that, I'm just going to double click, or excuse me. So to do that, I'm going to make sure I have my, my uh, so to do that, I'm just going to right click and navigate to open attribute table. And I want to use either the state abbreviation or the state name. I'll probably just do state name. But I'm going to click on this little tool here, select features using an expression. You click on that, and it might look a little daunting, but the only thing I'm doing here is I'm trying to find that field under fields and value, the uh, state name. So it's under my fields and values. And here it is, state name. So I'm just going to double click. So I'm creating an expression, state name equals, and you could, depend on your data set, you could 10 samples. So it'll provide you with a sample of 10 values or all unique. And that might be a lot, <laughs> depending on your data set. Um, I like to do this because I like to see how it looks. So I just double clicked, oops, actually I want to do Colorado instead. So I'm going to double click Colorado and that's my expression. And last thing we need to do is select features. So I'm going to click that and already I can see 64 were selected. So let me close out of this window here and I could change my show all features to show selected features. So I can see that my Colorado counties are selected. I can always go back to show all features. So let me go ahead and uh, close out of the attribute table. And here are the selected 64 counties in Colorado. So again, with the dissolve tool, I'm going to double click here. Again, my input layer is this one, the main layer. I want to click on selected features only and select on state name go back this time i'm just going to do a temporary full temporary file so click run this would be a lot quicker this is just a smaller area and just my colorado counties were dissolved and everything else remained the same again you can see that this is a temporary file because it has this little icon to it and then if you decide you want to keep that, you can always right click, export, save feature as, and then direct that to your project folder. So I hope this helps. As always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be more happy to get to you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. If you can, always hit that like button and click subscribe. I do put out videos quite frequently. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.